my beautiful buddies and welcome to a speed build today i'm doing of a eco community space and this community space can be so many things it could be a park it could be a cafe it could be um a maker space it could be a community garden it's a playground it's a pool it's up to you basically um and um the thing this is that with this park i'm building i'm obviously not not building it on the lot that's on the thumbnail and guys when i started this early on i accidentally did something really stupid <laughs> i changed it to a community space when i originally had it as a park and I, I didn't know apparently when you do that it like bulldozes the entire lot and you cannot get it back so that was my fault <laughs> So I had to rebuild it and while I was rebuilding it, I decided to just do it on a different lot. So a little bit like later into this build, you're going to kind of like see kind of like a time skip of like things looking a little bit more developed and that was because I had to rebuild it, but it's okay. We're going to get there in the end and I ended up liking that idea way better than what I was going for originally anyway because this lot was way too small. Um, so I ended up just keeping it as a park because I kind of thought having it as a community space kind of seemed like a little cheaty for having so many kind of different things on it especially too because like I had a garden area and I had a maker space and I know for a fact that in a park that the gardeners will come to to garden um regardless I don't know if random sims will but I know they will um and if you have seasons you can put like a scarecrow on it maybe and like befriend it to like take care of all the plants um so that's a hack for you but um, that is the good news of this pack is that it is 99% all base game and eco lifestyle. So if you do not have any other packs besides the base game and eco lifestyle, great news for you because it is very easy for you guys to go ahead and download. The only object I put in there knowingly that was from another pack were the string lights from a toddler stuff pack. I forget the actual name for the toddler stuff pack, but you know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> and I just like those lights. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can replace them probably with more street lights along. I just think they look really cute and I happen to use them a lot just because I feel like they're an easy way to light up outdoor spaces, especially like a park like this. Um, and the gallery tags this as um, CC, like no, no, not CC. I'm sorry. This gallery tags it as um, get together being in it, but I don't know where there's any get together <laughs> i don't know if it's a buy debug item that's that's from get together or if it's like the lights on the pool either way it's nothing really you guys need to be concerned about like if i don't even know which item was was from get together then like you're fine you can download this um, but yeah no base basically base game and eco living like just just those and i did that on purpose because i knew i don't do a lot of builds like that and i know that's something that personally before i was an ea game changer that i did not have every pack um when it first released and i waited for the things were like on sale sometimes um or like me and my friends would sometimes like gift them to each other like when i was a bit younger and things like that um but yeah, I decided, you know what, I think for those of you guys who are just starting The Sims or getting into it or you guys just don't have every pack if you're younger, that you'd probably appreciate this. Or even if you're not younger, you just don't want to spend your money on every Sims pack, you're not like a super fan, I guess, <laughs> then I got your back, girl. Or boy. <laughs> we don't. We don't um not discriminate we don't yeah i guess discriminate we don't discriminate here everybody's everybody matters and everybody's welcome okay <laughs> before this turns into like a political i guess rant now <laughs> um what have you guys been up to how have you guys been doing since the pandemic started and yep now you can see now you can see where my heart missed a beat <laughs> <laughs> I deleted all of it but it's okay because 
it got a lot better um, <laughs> um but yeah have you guys been doing i have actually been really enjoying this time slowly getting back into the swing of getting to know my channel and all of that i noticed that for a while there i was kind of like a little mia on youtube i kind of had i feel like i kind of had just some like creator burnout and now i just feel so inspired again and i don't know what it is i just love creating again and i'm so happy because it was kind of getting a little like difficult there because i feel like i was busy all the time and i just didn't think of great video ideas and i just love for the fact that um no matter what like this is a thing that i always like to go back to and i always like to do um and i have you guys too and i just think it's just a great thing just to ha be able to have a hobby especially in a time like this um because so many of my friends will just watch like netflix or something like that for their for their entertainment and things like that and i think it's fun to actually have something that means something um more than just like doing that like i like i like having a hobby basically um and the sims is so 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 great <laughs> i um i just i just like hope too that um by the end of the game we'll have like a pack that will like pretty much please everybody hopefully <laughs> that's that's something that i kind of hope but yeah the sims has been running for quite a while um it's been running since 2014 um comment down below if you guys have been playing since 2014 um because i have and i remember how god awful of a builder i used to be back in those days because i didn't even have a channel in 2014 i was like in that phase where i started to watch a bunch of youtubers um like i remember back in the day i used to watch life simmer a lot which by the way she actually follows me on twitter like that's the biggest flex i have <laughs> um and i used to watch queen rest in peace oh she was she was such a good let's player um and i got into delhi like before she even hit 100k like i remember discovering her channel like back when like the sims 3 was like still a thing so it was fun watching her grow um and then and a little bit later on i started watching urban sims and fantasia which she actually became a friend of mine um so that was like really really cool to like i guess like meet simmers that i i like thought were that thought were but that were pretty cool um obviously don't know them all and just to know more simmers like along the lot along the way like i've i've met so many cool people that i wouldn't have met otherwise and if you guys are any of you guys are thinking about making a channel and thinking if it's even worth it go and do it go go ahead and do it you meet so many cool people and it is so rewarding to like just be like i made this and yes that is my clock in the background i think so many people i think even people have commented is that is that your doorbell it is not my doorbell it is my clock and i'm sorry <laughs> just a little annoying <laughs> anyway um this build i got inspiration from a simmer that actually posted this treehouse build um and i remember that like, i've seen it i forgot where i seen it if i seen it on tumblr or i seen it on twitter or somewhere else but i got really inspired off of it and i thought wow that's so cool like i really i really want to make something like out of the box that's like still eco living um unfortunately i can't remember what the creator's name i didn't save the page unfortunately i wish i did now oh my god i feel like a horrible person next time i get inspiration by another swimmer i will definitely share who they are and what they did because i think they deserve it <laughs> a lot um anyway um and it was like really really amazing i remember just like looking at it and being like wow i want to make something really out of the box you know because that's something i i feel like i haven't done in a while like i said i i felt like a little uncreative for like the longest time and then this just kind of like hit me i was like thinking like what if i did this like 
eco hobbit looking kind of like you know maker space park like basically like a park district kind of thing um and i and it just looks like it's like growing out of the ground like a hill and i was just like oh my god no and i'm like i really really want to do this because it looks so so great with the grass roof and i was so happy and then later while i was doing my research like i was like did anyone do this before and i was like oh my god it was like um, I think Delhi did it. Yeah, Delhi did it like years ago, um, but I hadn't seen anybody attempt it since, um, especially since like the grass roof. So I was like, oh my God, yes. That was like genius idea because I think it looks really organic and it looks really cool, especially to um, like the whole circle one. Like once I put the trees in, I'm starting to right now, it will look so, so cool and it will just, just like fit in really really awesome like i just love the whole hill thing and the trees just like coming up i just think it i just think it looked kind of cool like obviously there was like real no purpose of like that bit being in there but i just liked it just because it looked really cool and stylish and um I feel like it only made sense to like keep the expensive equipment down there so like maybe you need like a pass to go down there or something like that basically this lot can be like whatever you want since there's like so many parts to it obviously if you wanted it to be like in that cafe cafe if you had um get together like you could put the actual cafe bar but i decided that since there's like a coffee cart that like we do an outside one and like we limit pack use and it'd be all great <laughs> But yeah, I just, I, I think it was really good. And I also, too, pulled so many fun things out of the buy, debil the, the buy debug items, um, like that menu. Um, <laughs> and I, I discovered, like, some really cheaty ways, actually, to put easily more items in. And I don't know if anybody else does this. I, I think... Um, the Iron Seagull does this too because I've seen him post something on social media about it too so I feel like a lot of simmers might already know this but I just discovered this hack <laughs> um, but I feel like maybe a lot of viewers don't so I'm thinking about doing actually like a building hacks video of things that like simmers like don't tell you about like like things you've never seen before and seeing um if you guys would like anything like that because i feel like um that there's probably a lot of simmers that like could just use like building tips and things like that and i know so many people like um james the sim uh, or like otherwise known as like the sim supply like when he was a sim supply or i think maybe little simsy did this too um where like they do like a builder's tips and like how to do layouts and things like that but i like to try to do some for you guys because my i guess my style is a bit different and like to do things that like i haven't seen them talk about actually or like things that i guess people haven't touched as much that i feel like would be helpful so let me guys know if you guys are into that um because I love to do it <laughs> and I definitely think some of you guys would like to see it because I had a personal friend who he told me that he casually plays the sims um, Sims sometimes um, and he told me he's like you make such beautiful items I could never build anything like that and I was like oh my god you gave me amazing idea of a video like what if I made like hacks for people just to like spice up their builds or something um, so yeah you guys can let me know about that um in my own time um when i'm not recording i actually have been playing discover university um because as you guys know we're in the middle of a pandemic and i um like i graduated um but i didn't do it in like a really conventional way obviously because of like everything that happened um so i've been like playing on my own time and my goal is to like have my sims graduate and i was like that was also another video that i was like thinking about doing like like having like a graduation with you guys um maybe i'll even try to pull out face cam for that because i think i have like my my cap and gown i think will be delivered <laughs> this weekend or something like that because my school said they had to cancel the ceremony in august but they but they like still gave us the option to like 
get a cap and gown so i got one for the heck of it there might be one sometime much later in the future or there might not we don't know yet um (laughs) but yeah i was like i think that that would be fun to do that so i've been playing on my own time and i just kind of like reconnecting with the game and i've just been having so much fun so that's another thing you guys could let me know if you guys would like to see a current household because i know full-on let's plays um don't do as well for me for some reason like i feel like much more you guys are into like build series create a sim series or like even let's plays but like other games let's plays that are like more story mode maybe like i don't like you guys know what i'm trying to say um i would love to do a let's play sometime in the future again but i think this time if i ever did it it would be something with a heavy storyline or something that is a challenge because like pack-based let's plays at least for me never never flied um at least really good baby mine looks so fly <laughs> sorry i'm just singing a song i'm all over the place um but yeah the with the day that i am recording this um the playstation 5s have been announced and you guys let me know um are you guys a pc person are you okay or are you a console person or are you both um personally now i'm a pc person but i but i still like consoles i grew up um having a playstation 2 um and i've also had a wii as well so i like consoles yeah but i'm primarily pc now but seeing the new playstation it like looked like some robot <laughs> it genuinely did look like a, a robot like or like wally from like the, like the disney movies and people were making memes about it which is super funny so um comment down below if you guys seen them um and how you feel about them <laughs> um and also let me know too how you guys are enjoying eco lifestyle if you have it or if you guys are thinking about getting it um if you guys also too want to see more pack based let's plays i've asked you a lot of questions i feel like in this speed build between like builders tips like <laughs> um if you like let's plays like or or like um and just just so much stuff so many questions have been asked and yeah you can just let me know anything even if you just want to say hi guys i even enjoy the um hi i really like this build or you did a great job or something like i really enjoy those what i don't enjoy or the comments that are like hi want to be friends because there is this real bad thing going around right now on youtube um where that there is bots going around saying like hi want to be friends and like something that will seem kind of normal until it's commented like two or three times or their username just looks really weird um and apparently it steals channels and it's kind of a bad thing (laughs) so if you guys have a channel and you guys don't know about that already just be careful with I guess your comments because it is a real shame and I actually didn't know until um I heard about it and yeah (laughs) the more you know um but yeah going going back to this um what else happened today Mm, oh Deli and James finally said that they got together and even the sim gurus were like finally those two got together so that was really cute I watched their stream today um um but yeah nothing nothing really really too too exciting I've just been doing the normal everyday thing you know I'm sure you guys might know I feel like everyone has just that routine about like how they wake up and they just do all these like things that just like feel like a chore at this point (laughs) no one wants to stay home but we all have to (laughs) um but yeah so ea play also is too is coming up i'm assuming obviously virtually but the sims said they they weren't um announcing any new packs at this point which and they pre-warned us too um which i think is nice for the people that do like speculation videos um and yeah i just I like thinking too. Um, what will be the next pack if there is a next and like like when there is a next pack? Because we know um, that there's going to be expansion pack this year and there's going to be stuff pack. And I think that they said a game pack. Don't hold me to this. I know that they put a graphic up, and you can go and check it online. Um, but we know for a fact that the stuff pack is going to be. Um, 
like um nifty knits so i'm really curious to see what their game pack will do personally i feel like the sims 4 their strengths are in game packs um I just, I find that their game packs are really, really good, like, detailed-wise, and they're usually really fleshed out, um, and I feel like definitely, definitely, there, there could be, like, a little bit more, I guess, sometimes, um, of a connection between The Sims 4 and, I guess, just kind of, like, user playability, like, otherwise you know what i'm trying to say like i feel like packs are really fun but i feel like for the typical user i feel like a lot of people want family gameplay um and i feel like that's definitely gonna come that's definitely gonna come maybe it's just me <laughs> but when it does i think i'll be really 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 excited because like stuff like this is really fun because i really love new skills and all that and i think the new world is pretty and things like that but i feel like a lot of us like to have like substance to the pack to the be like that that we can use over and over again and like it's not a thing that's like okay so we did this and that was fun but like are you gonna want to do that career 10 times kind of thing i don't know i i still like doing i'm saying this and i played this game like all the freaking time and <laughs> build all the freaking time um so yeah don't, don't mind me i think i'm just like running around in circles with this one <laughs> but yeah you guys can see the build all starting to come together so yeah you you answer my questions if you want to or even just say great job i'm i'm just just really like this build it's it's amazing you're doing great sweetie <laughs> um and yeah uh, that's another that's actually another great video idea of the things i like better than a previous sim game hmm i have a lot of ideas lately i should i should do something about them <laughs> and yeah those are those toddler like um pack lights that i was like talking to you guys about that if you want you can go replace them if you don't have that pack um honestly you could probably even find some good cc ones if you didn't have a lot of pack and you don't mind that like if you don't have a channel and like, like that's totally like not important to you um personally i would use more build cc but i don't feel like i'm popular enough for people to help people find my builds otherwise if i if i did use it because i kind of like the option to people just see it otherwise it like it's ticked as modded um but yeah <laughs> we're coming to the end of the build um so please comment rate and subscribe as um well as um you know leaving leaving like some love down below i guess that's comment freaking what am i saying but anyway guys thank you for watching and i will talk to you soon bye 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 we are two wonders at dawn of the world full of war early sunrise i gave promise you said all Always, and we run it down.